What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in. Chase Games here, and in this video, we are going to check out the new super boss battle, uh, the giant boss battle against uh, Orgdemir. Uh, by the way, I just looked it up, and because I couldn't remember from playing uh, Dragon Quest VII, uh, it's Orgo Demira in the translation. It's just Orgdemir uh, in the localization, so not far off. All right, so this is going to take keys again, just like the other giant boss battles. Um, from what I can see, just spoilers here, this doesn't look as annoying to me as Atlas. It's Frizz and Whoosh Weakness. Those are pretty easy to hit, so I'm glad to see that. Anything, you know, Sizz, Zap, it's like, oh, thank you. There are two of those units that you put on a featured banner three minutes ago. Awesome. I don't have it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so these, uh, the team should be a lot easier here. Uh, but anyway, let's start with, uh, keys, how to get them. Uh, alright, so I'm seeing that they are available on the, uh, one of the towers they are available, 11th to, well, let me see. You can get them on the 1 to 15th floor. We recommend the 11th to 14th. They claim that the 15th floor is very high. I think it's supposed to be the most, uh, efficient, but they say it's very hard. I don't know what that means. Uh, so they, a lot of these things they say to, uh, uh, farm 11 to 14, I think there are drop things too. So this implies that they are not first clear rewards that you can farm them. Uh, so get ready to fight this guy a lot. Uh, maybe, uh, you'll be able to buy 20 of them in the event shop and this one only costs three keys. All right. So, uh, where do we go from here? Uh, let me see. I think I want to look at this. Uh, we'll look at his event shop, too. Okay, this is... He seems to be his own... It's not just normal and hard this time, I guess. He's going to have 20 stages. Um, so you start off here 1 to 4, you get a few medals. 5 to 9, a few more medals. Uh, these. So I don't know... Guys, I don't know if this is going to be fun or a gigantic pain in the ass uh, to be, like, efficient. If you if we get a buttload of keys for this, I mean, are we going to have to do this five times a day? I, I'm i not sure. I'm not sure. But there, there are, I'm seeing some positives. Let's not get too caught up. If you can keep farming 15 to 20, that's a lot of uh, alchemy stones, this S-rank piece of equipment. Um... And I'll, I'm going to do a video about equipment on its own, but uh, I'll tell you, this this video, this weapon, uh, armor, has curse resistance. Alright, so it comes with 14 MP, 8 defense, 10% curse resistance, and then the rolls on it, I hate. Um, it, other than, okay, so bang attribute resistance at 4 is the is the best, I think. If you can get that, keep it. Curse resistance plus five. I don't find curse to be a problem. So I mean, not yet at least. I don't know if you get if you get like some golden rainbow curse rolls on here. Sure, keep it. Cause otherwise, bang breath resistance. What is that a thing? Is that a thing? I'm not exaggerating. Is that a thing? Um, and then uh, bang attribute resist. So if you can get two or three of the bang attribute resistance, four four percent is actually a decent number. Do that. All right, so curse resist the gold rolls curse four percent, okay. Uh, bang breath no, uh, bang attribute three yeah. If you get if you get some gold and rainbow rolls of bang attribute re resistance, that's fine. Uh, MP twelve. I don't know if other pieces of equipment have better, but when are you specking for MP? No, defense power plus five, gross. Wisdom plus five. This would be, if you absolutely have no other pieces of armor that do wisdom, I mean, then you've been playing bad or you started yesterday, no offense. Um, but there's no inherent wisdom on the weapon, so a f max of 15, that's that's bad. So, I actually hate this armor. Um, it's, it is, I, I think it is completely useless in you, unless you can get a lot of gold and rainbow uh, bang resistance. And then it is obviously only useful on a bang stage. So, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, 
Anyway, these are some of the prizes you get from clearing it each time. I don't... I can't, I can't really tell... Obviously, I can't tell you what it's going to be like. Um, but there's Frizz and Whoosh weaknesses. So, uh, did you get Overkilling Machine? He'll be good. I think Elena is going to be very good here. Um, well, maybe not. No, because, sorry, she doesn't do multi... She doesn't do AoE, so... Eh. Uh, Dragon Lord True Form will be okay, but his breath isn't super high. Um, and he's going to have MP issues. I imagine this... I don't know, maybe this is a shorter stage? Because it's, there's so many stages to it? I, I can't say. Uh, Maribel... Don't, don't know what these guys do. Uh, Flora's good. Uh, she's gonna... She's only got so much MP. Uh, White King... White King will probably be decent. Uh, Slyonheart could be good because he is, he doesn't do AoE damage, but he does do... Um, he can lower defense with his uh, whoosh uh, attack. I don't know what this dude is. Kifa, Kiefer uh, could be good. This guy will would is okay as a free to play. This is an A rank that just has Kaswoosh. I don't think we'll have him by then. Orochi, uh, I mean, there's worse things, but um, they suggest going with a cover healer strategy. So fairly obvious there. Uh, this guy must be doing. I think he's resist. He must be doing frizz damage, which makes sense. They, the Scorpion is the the first suggestion. He uh, he resists whoosh and or sorry frizz and bang, so it's got to be frizz here. Um, sometimes he could have uh, multiple elements, but I think it's frizz. Um, anyway, this is like the the basically uh, they, when they say no pickup, that means no featured monsters, which I think is fair. So sorry, the very newest players may not be left out of this category, but. They suggest this lineup. We may not have Sakura Cub. Um, but, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, you can see this is another standard uh, giant boss battle. Same same range. Alright, so you got the three squares, one in the behind. It would, it would be nice if they had a different range, because it's kind of annoying. Um, they say that he puts out... I don't know if it's poison or a new kind of poison... It's, the translate is saying, like, instant death swamp squares. Um, so I don't know if that's actually instant death or just more poison. It does look different. We will find out. Uh, alright, and it says meet the conditions, uh, to get weak points. I don't know if this will work exactly as it has before, or if there are, uh, you know, conditions that you do, and then he will, uh, open up a weak point. It says the weak point works just the same as before. You can hit it with a strong single uh, strike, which, uh, you know, sometimes you generally want to bring AoE attacks, and they don't always also have a strong single target attack, so do the best that you can. Um, but And then he'll have some adds here. Uh, two of them are weak to Whoosh, one is weak to Frizz, so you'll be bringing that stuff anyway. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, and then they don't have it on here as long as... Hmm. If this guy isn't resistant to Zam, a star could still be a good monster just for hitting the first three rows. He's not listed, though, so he may have... He may have a Zam resistance. Um, oh, that's there, there. Uh, and I mentioned this in my other video. He has, uh... He's got... He's, he's gonna have his own currency. Uh, I mean, there's keys to get in, and then I, I pointed out before in, in my overview video, he has his own currency shop uh and this basically is an intro to to, to rank seven shop there's going to be one orb good cool um and then he's going to have three each of each each family's uh rank seven material once again you need two of them for each s rank to get to rank seven and then one for an a rank b and below do not need any of the new material um so yeah, it's just... And then they've got some of the old uh, rank materials in here. They seem to have just about everything, or at least the... At least the, they've got all the family rank materials in here. Um, so, I don't know. And then there's a one-to-one -one gold exchange rate, apparently. But uh, this seems this seems nice. This will probably be a very valuable place to get the new uh, crystals. I don't know what the numbers are going to look like here, but uh, there's an orb, and there's crystals 
And that is, that's all I can really tell you about here. So, uh, TLDR, there, there is a giant boss battle. There's a, cur there's a currency shop for metals that drop in. I think we're going to be doing it a lot. I don't think that the keys are limited. So, good luck, guys. I'll be back with another video very soon.